post box number. Mr. Broadman was a tall man. He was also very fat, so his name was a good one for someone of his shape and size. Mr. Broadman was the headmaster of St. George's School. St. George's School was not very big. Next door to it, there was a church called St. George's Church. On the other side of the school, there was a bakery. That was called S. George's Bakery because the owner was a man called S. George. But that was not all. On the same road, St. George's Crescent, there was a beauty parlor at the corner called Georgina's Salon. A short way from there was a cycle repair shop called Georgie's Repairs. So that was Mr. Broadman's problem. There were too many Georges in this part of town. Mr. Broadman was fed up. On Monday he received mail for the bakery. On Tuesday he received a parcel of inner tubes for cycles. On Wednesday he explained to an elderly lady that he did not cut or wash hair. He asked the peon to remove her from the school corridor. On Thursday and Friday there was no mail delivered at all and then at midday Mr. S. George the baker brought him a parcel containing the annual examination papers. How did you get this? asked Mr. Broadman crossly. It was delivered to me by the postman yesterday, replied Mr. S. George. Mr. Broadman growled and went into his office. On Saturday, Mr. Broadman was not well, so he did not come to school. He came to his office for an hour on Sunday. Outside, he found a huge bunch of flowers with a message that said, Dear Father, Thank you for conducting our wedding last week. Best wishes, Mrs. and Mr. Tripp. Mr. Broadman held his head in his hand and groaned. It is time to get a post box number, he said to himself. The following week, Mr. Broadman wrote to the postmaster. Dear Sir, I am the headmaster of St. George's School. I would like a post box number. Please explain to me how to get one and how it all works. Yours sincerely, M. Broadman, Headmaster. A week later, Mr. Broadman received a letter from the postmaster. It was brought to him by Mr. S. George, who was very cross indeed. Mr. Broadman opened the letter and read it aloud. Dear Mr. Broadman, Thank you for your inquiry about post boxes. You may certainly apply for a post box number. When you are given a post box number, your mail will be delivered to that post box. The postman will not bring any letters to your address. You will have to collect your letters and parcels from your post box. The box is locked and you will have the key so your mail will be quite safe. Please apply for a post box number by filling in the enclosed form. Yours faithfully, P. Osterley, Postmaster. Mr. Broadman read the letter once more. Then he read it a third time. He looked at the form that came with the letter. He sighed loudly and sat down to fill it in. A week, two weeks, Three weeks went by, but Mr. Broadman had no reply from the postmaster. So, Mr. Broadman wrote another letter to the postmaster. In it, he said he was very angry. He waited for a reply, but it never came. 
I am fed up with the PM and the PO, said Mr. Broadman to his wife one day. I am also fed up with getting mail for all those Georges. Why don't you phone the postmaster, said his wife. That's a good idea, said Mr. Broadman. I'll call him in the morning. I'll tell him how cross I am. That night, Mr. Broadman did not sleep well. He was thinking about what he was going to say to the postmaster. In the morning, Mr. Broadman went to the school. He waited till 10 o'clock before picking up the telephone to make the call. Hello, said Mr. Broadman. Is that the postmaster? Yes, said a voice at the end of the line. I am Mr. Broadman, said Mr. Broadman. I wrote to you more than a month ago for a postbox number. But you still haven't done anything about it. This is really too. Mr. Broadman was going to tell the postmaster a thing or two, but the postmaster interrupted him. Mr. Broadman, said the postmaster, we gave you a postbox number three weeks ago. We sent you a letter and also sent you the key. Well, I have not received it, said Mr. Broadman angrily. Where on earth did you send it? We sent it to your post box number, said the postmaster. Well, man, how can I get into the post box without a key? shouted Mr. Broadman. There was no answer to that. But Mr. Broadman did get another key a few days later. And now his mail does not go to all the other Georges on St. George's Crescent.